It's time for your daily freedom seed. What's an executive order and why does it matter? The American Bar Association defines an executive order as a signed, written, and published directive from the President of the United States that manages operations of the federal government. Today, executive orders are treated like laws, a way for presidents to unilaterally carry out their political goals with zero approval from Congress. But a law is exactly what an executive order isn't, at least not what it's supposed to be. In practice, that hasn't really Really mattered when presidents from both sides of the aisle have pushed their will through the government, and executive orders are given legal authority after 30 days. FDR holds the record for the most executive orders signed under a single president, with 3,721. Our early presidents barely signed any at all, but the last 24 presidents have signed at least 100 executive orders during their time in office, and President Biden set the record for the highest number of executive orders in his first week, 37. The founding fathers Fathers never intended for this to be used so much. Their fear of consolidated power in one person is exactly what drove the formation of three branches of government in the first place. While there is a place for executive action, many constitutional scholars argue that the use of executive orders has been abused. I'm Isabel Brown, and there's your ammo to win America's culture war. Executive orders weren't intended to be used so much. Don't forget to hit the heart button, share to educate others, and save this episode to add to your arsenal of knowledge from Turning Point USA.